Well, it's Christmas Eve and Santa's little helper is down at the front of the K20 swap Mitsubishi Colt CZT. Who's Santa's helper? You're Santa's little helper. All right. That makes me Santa. Really? Can I empty my sack? No, I've got a little bit that. Really. Is it too early for that? What are we doing? Ah, kid. I'm going to put a light on. Take two, great editing skills. Thank so we've got a light on. So over the year, we've harvested this car for parts, ain't we, a little bit? It seems to be the way. Uh, not too badly, admittedly, but we have, like you say, taken... Intake temperature sensor off to use on a customer's vehicle and also a three-port boost solenoid turbo smart one to use on a customer's vehicle. So they're going back on today. Yeah, nothing too major. I mean, like three port we took off because I think we ended up in a situation, didn't we? Where we had a couple of Chinese ones for some reason. Yeah, that's work, right. Um, which was annoying. Which we didn't. I wasn't aware we bought off eBay till we went back and had a look. Um, so we bought a load of Turbo Smart ones. So we've got to put that back on because we took yours off to get a customer going on the day. And the air intake temp sensor, I think we took off for a conversion car that we did at some point. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, like I say, it's not stopping the car from running or anything. We're just going to put them, reinstate those back on. I think the biggest thing that we've done, obviously, this week is put the uh, uh, Corsa D electronic power steering column in. I think it's a C, is it not? Well, I think it's a D. Yeah. Well, you like the D, I like the C. <laughs> Rich prefers the D over the C. Yes, so as you can see, we have got, and it is dark, I appreciate that, but we have got a, um, a Corsa steering wheel and don't get me wrong whilst it works it's got to come off i can't stand it so uh, i'm looking for a nice aftermarket steering wheel that will fit the coarser column um and then we'll be up and running but uh it is yeah, what are you, uh, i mean i'm sure as people can appreciate it's, it's got a torch and um, it's not a five minute job no it's not a five minute job we were considering making a video but there was a lot of uh, a lot of re what what how how shall i put that there was a there was a lot of we didn't know what was going to work when and how so yeah, I mean, we just you, you've got to imagine right that you've got a steering column that's obviously in there for a colt which is obviously designed for a colt i mean to explain the background to people the colt has an electronic motor on the steering rack yeah because obviously this car was converted and we lost a lot of camber stuff and the original ECU was obviously out, we did lose a lot of the stuff that, we, that would work, if you understand me. So we ended up fitting a digital dash and wiring the digital dash to the K20 ECU. So that yeah. gave us all of the engine information and oil pressure and things like that displayed on the clocks. There was a lot of time spent wiring lights in. There was a there? lot of time wiring lights in. So for example, like obviously the lights stopped working. So we had no light display. So we've obviously rigged up. So we've got main beam, engine management indicators, things like that all working and doing what it needs to do. So we did spend a lot of time doing that. We fitted the bottom switch panel and fuse panel for all of the K20 stuff. Down at the bottom, we've got obviously the water meth down there. We've got the ODB2 port down there. We've now also got the variant for the steering, electronic steering column down there as well. So a lot of that's obviously gone down there and into that sort of bottom section of the dash. Uh, we have now got, as far as I'm concerned, everything is working as it should do. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're perfectly fine and got that doing. We've obviously removed the original Colt column and then fitted the Corsa column. Obviously, that's took some modification to get in there. Yeah. There's some bits and uh, some areas under the dash that we've obviously trimmed and modified to get the, the motor and everything in there. We've uh, managed to, which is a, quite a feat in my opinion, or did take a long time. I mean, this took about 15 hours to get this in here. I mean, obviously, we're not going to do a 15-hour video. No. Uh, it took about 15 hours. Yeah, I've seen it. it on YouTube. It's only a 10-minute job, mate. Yeah, only a 10-minute job, realistically, to get it in there. But what we have actually managed to do is to put the actual original Colt switch gear, ignition barrel, and everything onto the Corsa column. So that took a lot of time to get all that to fit in there. Um, obviously, then you've got the Corsa column with, obviously, the motor. And then we've modified the lower collapsible section so that we've got Corsa UJ one end to fit the steering column. And we've got Colt UJ on the other end to obviously go to the car. The original motor cannot be removed. We have tried to previously do that, haven't we? Yeah. Um, and that can't be done. Uh, you take the motor out and then obviously there's certain gubbins that that uses and then obviously the rack's no good. So we can't take that motor out. 
the only option we had is because the, the module had lost its canvas signals and we just couldn't get that working again. We had an auto electrician out to it, he couldn't get it working. We tried to fit a Corsa D control module instead of the Colt module to power the original rack and we could get it to turn left to right on its own. Yeah. But not as in just assisting. So obviously then that was no good. That was like attempt two really, in my opinion. Attempt one was to remove the motor and see if we could obviously make it lighter and then we could live with it, which didn't work. So we put an original rack back in. Then attempt two was the course of D control unit on the original motor and that didn't work. So then obviously we stepped to the course of D steering column complete, uh, knowing that that would obviously assist and then you know that would probably be our best option. And it has fired up? Yeah, it has fired up, that has worked, uh, seems to be working. I mean, basically we yet to drive it. Uh, if we get the boost on the back on, and uh, the air intake temp, uh, air intake temp back in. There's absolutely no reason we can't drive this car today, uh, and see how it uh, well, see how it performs. Well, let's get cracking then. Well, it appears we're out in the Mitsubishi Colt, the K20 swap one, and we've got a bit of power steering, which is phenomenal. Yeah, it certainly feels uh, different. I mean, it's like I can't really explain it. Yeah, I can't really explain it at the moment. I think, and I've got a funny feeling, that the steering rack that's on this car was a, new, was a second hand one that we put on, so I think the tracking's out. Oh, uh, okay. But I can't remember if you had it tracked before we did the last track, though. I can't remember. No, I don't think so, I don't remember. No, I don't either. But it's pretty good. it doesn't feel horrible or anything, but it just doesn't, you know, it, it's like you can tell it's, I don't know, when you get to the centre point, it sort of crosses over. Well, I've been out in the Mitsubishi car and I'm really, really happy with it. Yeah, it's, uh, it drives really naturally as well and the steering wheel returns when I want it to. Uh, we've, got an we've got adjustment for the power steering, which is fantastic. Um, and we had a little bit of a fettle as I was driving it and uh, got it to where I wanted it, which is great. Uh, feels really natural. I I'm really happy to have power steering back in it again. And it feels like I could daily it again. It's still got the full interior in it. So, screaming kids on the way to school. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fantastic. Definitely. Well, thank you very much, Richard. I think that's our yeah. final uh, our final bit of project for the for the year, isn't it? Yeah, definitely the final bit for the year. I think, like you said, we discussed we were going to do a lot of filter on it, service it. Uh, we've got, obviously, we're going to get a coarser boss and, a, and, a, and a, a smaller steering wheel, obviously, to, to get rid of this coarser wheel, uh, just to finish that round of mods off. Uh, I think just generally check it over, make sure it's going to be all right. The car obviously needs an MOT, so we'll check it out for that. Clean the brakes up, it's obviously been stood for a little while, ain't it? Yeah. Obviously over, where well, we've just decided we weren't going to do anything with this over the COVID period. So it was, you know, we haven't done anything with it, but you know, we wanted it out and ready for next year and the power steering was it. We've managed to crack out before Christmas, so that's great. So hopefully when we get back after Christmas, we'll be on the brown colt and uh, get some more content on that. Yeah, looking forward to the brown colt. Right. right, guys, there you go. Thanks very much. And we shall see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? We will indeed.